I kind of had to force myself to come out here today. I was feeling a little frustrated because I needed to do just some maintenance work. And the palettes I've used in the past on my projects are wonderful because they're free and they do look rustic, but they are old and very fragile. And a lot of the times, the palettes, it's amazing because they're so old, they're not made of the best quality wood, and they're, they're not kiln drying, you know, they're, they're, not, they're not dried. So in the process of, of using them through the years, then they shrink and they get brittle in the sun and in, in the rain and the snow. They, they just get brittle. And so that makes the projects I've used them for fall apart probably faster than they would have if I had bought quality material in the first place. But just in the effort to save money and and just wanting to do things, you know, um, well, but also to save some money, I've, I've used them. And so I've come out today to fix some of the things that have just fallen apart because, you know, goats will bang on things and climb on things and jump pell-mell on everything and it's caused a lot of the, the boards and even the screws to break to break loose and come off. In the process of this, of coming out here, I was trying to have a good attitude. And then I realized that I needed to think of things, think of this a bit differently than I normally would have. You see, in life, we need to not become weary of doing good. And to remember that life is a continual process, a continual growth process. That all through our lives, we may think we've arrived. You know, we all have that arrival that we think we want to get to, that, that place where we feel like we've had success and we've gotten it all. But the reality is, is that we're never really there. We never will get to that perfect place of completion here on this earth. And we will always be growing, we will always be doing, we will always have that one next step to get to. And if we keep that in mind, I believe it will help us to not feel like that there will be an end to this rat race. And and I guess that is why we are encouraged to, to not grow weary in doing good. That all through our lives, every day, from right now until I am 120 years old, I need to be consciously thinking about how I'm going to do good today, right now. How I am going to get up and finish this race today well and not grow weary in doing that. I think it is so easy to get in the mundane drudgery of life where we have to fix things that we feel like we just fixed. We have to uh, go get up and, and do that hard work every year. We have to put up hay that is stinking hard work every year and it's the same thing every year. And it's this cycle of life that is so important. And I'll be honest, I probably fail at this more than I, than I conquer it. Because I can so easily get focused on my list, my things I have to get done. The, oh no, this is stressful. And I, and, and I get in this, nothing's working, you know, the, the garden is, has this problem this year and we won't be able to do it again until next year because we've run out of time and, and, you know, this is broken down, the fences all need fixed, the, the on and on and on. But I think that is where we can so easily forget that that is what life is. There will be always something to fix but we must remain cheerful in our daily lives and daily activities. 
because when we get to the end of our lives, that is what will matter. When we're old and gray, and we've, we've spent our years, we will look back, and our children will look back, our grandchildren will look back, and they, we all want to cherish those memories of the past. And when we've lived a good life, and lived a, a life full of cheer, when we've lived a life where we were remembering to do good on a daily basis, and when we were living a life where we knew that the race wasn't complete and still isn't complete, that is where our heritage goes deep. That is where the roots of our lives reach to depths, I think, that are unknown and that will impact our lives, our families' lives, and I believe that ripple effect will carry on to so many more. So if right now you are feeling the drudgery of, of life, whatever that may look like for you, whether it's a health condition, whether it is just needing to do a lot of stuff, that you have a lot going on right now, or you're feeling like that you're never going to get there to that, that place that you feel like is perfection, that if you're feeling overwhelmed and like life isn't working, I encourage you not to give up. And remember, keep pushing through. Don't forget that we must, all of us must, continue the good fight of faith and, and live every day like our legacy and heritage really matters. Thanks for joining me today in my In the Barnyard Thoughts. I hope to see you in the next video. Thank you for watching and if this encouraged you, please comment below, like this video, and definitely share it with anyone else that you might think needs to hear these words. We must all encourage each other to not give up, to keep doing good, and to finish this race to completion. We don't, none of us ever want to, we're on this race of life, we're on this race of, uh, in a sense, this race of faith. None of us want to get halfway through it and give up. Fight to the finish. Move those mountains in your lives. Speak words of life into your life and into your family's lives, into your garden's life, into your animal's lives, and bring a light and a peace and a joy into life that is so needed in this day and age. I'm coming to realize that there will always be fences to fix. There will always be poop to scoop. There will always be an animal to tend to and the weather to deal with. There will always be something to fix and something to master in my personal life. There will be always something to learn and to conquer fears, to, to completely annihilate and get over. And with each stage in life, there's always something new. In each stage, we find ourselves facing things that we've never faced before. And with each stage of our life, comes new challenges, new thoughts to, to think and, and even conquer, new ways to do things, better ways to do things, and more and new people to encourage and love on. And that is why we are encouraged to not give up. That is why we are encouraged to every day get up and get dressed in our clothes of faith and to really mindfully and consciously think about our actions, our attitudes, and, and our words. That is how important it is. That is how important you are every day in your life. So today, 
Think about today. Don't think about what you've done in the past. Forgive yourself. Forget what lies behind and press on right now. The future is tomorrow and it, it has, oh my goodness, it has a whole list of things that we don't even need to be thinking about. <laughs> when we think about tomorrow, it overwhelms us. We think about today and what is set before us today and that is where we rest, is right in this moment. Today is a decision that we can make to better ourselves, to, to remember that life is just every day going to bring us challenges and wonderful things. Every day life is going to have beauty and possibly some sadness and that it all matters. You matter. Your life matters and every detail is so important. So go out today. <laughs> go out today, right now. Think about today and do your best right now and then get up tomorrow and do the same thing and the day after that. And if you can, pick up a cute baby goat and give them some loves. That will bring a smile to your face and happiness to your heart. Except when they're chewing on your elbow and it hurts. And then if you can get two in your arms <laughs> and give them some loves, oh my, oh, it's all the better. Have a great day.